Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here, giving the update on the Memorial Day forecast for all the activities and remembrances that are going on out there today. The good news is we've got some showers and clouds this morning. You're probably saying, why is that good news? That's helping to stabilize things and really deter our severe weather risk for the remainder of the day. I'll show you the system. You can see the clouds and the bulk of the storm has moved down into parts of Georgia, maybe South Carolina. You can see there's a severe thunderstorm watch down there. Right now that severe thunderstorm watch is up. Um, until 2 p.m. this afternoon. Now, this will leave a, a leftover what we call outflow boundary. We'll see if it reproduces or regenerates some storms later. But the fact that the clouds and showers came in early kind of used up a lot of the fuel in the atmosphere. I'll turn off the satellite data because I want to show you the outlook for severe weather today. It's been slowly be get, beginning trimmed down. And what I mean by that is once this first wave moves through, the threat's been shifting east. So back to the west, you could see we're out of the risk for severe storms. But the front, is still back here in the Ohio Valley. Until that gets here, there technically still could be a chance for a pop-up shower or storm. Tomorrow, you can see we're completely in the clear. So let's get into the future cast because we are going to have a few showers this morning, but I think for the most part, we could be best uh, better for the rest of the day. So what's interesting, even the guidance is way off this morning already. It thinks there's strong to severe storms over us right now. That's not happening. Okay, that's what the model thinks is happening, right? Uh, let's show you what the actual radar is. It looks something like that. I overlaid it right on top. So not nearly as bad as what it indicated. Whatever developed this morning, it was going to fizzle pretty quickly. And we get into the afternoon hours, you can see, yeah, pretty dry. About 4 o'clock, here comes the main front. Now, depending on how much recovery we get, what I mean by that is how much heating, sunshine, humidity builds this afternoon, that could help regenerate a couple isolated showers and storms this evening. That's why I can't completely rule it out because that front still has to move through. So if we're going to see another shower storm today, it's probably going to be this evening. This morning... I would not worry about this morning, especially in the Western Carolinas. The rain out there, the clouds, that's about it. There's nothing severe really heading our way with that. And even these look pretty puny as they move through. So, you know, this is an 18 hour future cast. This morning storms are kind of it. So the rest of the day is looking much better. So we'll keep an eye on it just in case these things bubble up. But if there's going to be another storm today, look around five, six o'clock. And again, it, remember, sun doesn't set now to what, about 8.30 or so? So you still got plenty of time for heating. If the sun does come out in your location for a couple hours, it starts getting really hot and humid, then you're definitely going to want to think, hey, we're going to get some storms. And just to show you um, what the dew point temperatures look like out there, you see the dew points are in the 60s, but you see back to the west, they're in the low 60s and 50s. There's clearly some kind of boundary moving through. And I'm going to turn on the dew point temperatures just so we got a little better view. You can see some drier air moving in where the real juicy air is, where it's kind of those blues. That's where you're looking at more of the uh, the instability out there. I'm going to turn on the temperatures and you can see, yeah, the temperatures for the most part are, aren't too bad off to these. So we'll keep an eye on it. But for the rest of the day, uh, just watch out for a pop-up shower storm. But for the most part, our severe weather risk has gone way down.